In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to win my GM pretty much 99% of the time. So please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also let me know down below if you want to see anything else on WWE 2K and let's get straight into it. When starting my GM mode, you have five general managers you can choose from. You have Adam, Sonia, William, Shane or Stephanie and they have their own power cards. The three best I suggest that you use is Adams with Instigator increases the levels of all active rivalries by one. This can be massive, especially leading up to a pay-per-view. The second best in my opinion is William Regal with Legend Whisperer. The first Legend you sign this week will be free. So that means you get a contract of five weeks or 10 weeks most of the time with Legends and their popularity is much higher than the average superstar and you get them completely free. All you have to do is renew their contract at the end of the five weeks or the 10 weeks, it's entirely down to you, but this can help massively at the start. Then the third best option is Stephanie McMahon with the McMahon presence. Earn twice as much money from the arena attendance this week. This could be a massive draw towards a pay-per-view and you've got a full house and you can end up signing some decent superstars or even legends from this revenue that you actually bring in for your show. Once you have chosen your general manager, you get to choose a brand and you have the options of SmackDown, Raw, NXT or NXT UK. The best power card for me, in my opinion, is Birth of Legends with SmackDown. Six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by a plus six. So hopefully if you pick a few stars and some of them have lower ratings, they get selected randomly and they get boosted up in popularity. So it increases their chance of being bigger names and bringing better ratings for any match that they have. My second go-to is Raw and that's because it comes with this unique power card that is this is war. Three randomly selected superstars on the opposing brand cannot be booked in matches next week, cannot be used the week before a pay-per-view, and this can dramatically increase your ratings over Raw or SmackDown or whoever it is that you end up choosing, and this helps massively in getting the fans in. Now you need to draft in wrestlers, and there is quite a few different factors in this that will make your brand the better brand out of the two. So you got to consider the role, the class and the popularity as well as the cost, including the fact that they have star power as well. These are some factors that you want to factor in when choosing who's going to be the face of your brand. At the top of our list is Brock Lesnar. He does have a very high star power rating, but he does come out of a heavy cost. I've got another two options that I could pick, which is Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. They're on the same par and they're only one less in popularity. So I do suggest picking one of these and making a really good second pick afterwards by looking at who is a good heel or who is a good fan favorite to try and put them up against. Once we have chosen the face of our brand, it's about planning who is going to be their rival. And what you want to do for this is make sure that their classes perfectly sync together. So a brawler which Roman Reigns is and a fighter which Finn Balor is clash perfectly well. So this will be a good rivalry. But I want to choose someone who is a fan favorite and I want to choose someone who is a heel to clash against to make that perfect, perfect match rating. So Samoan Joe is the no-brainer in this option. He has got a bit of a less rating in popularity, but a couple of fights that will definitely be risen up fairly, fairly easily. And if I wanted to, I could place the belt on him and raise up his popularity straight away. As you can see, I've picked a few different wrestlers, but I have chosen Edge, who is a specialist. Specialists can fight against any superstar, and it doesn't matter about their class. They always tend to put on a good show. So if you guys are looking what type of specialist you want, yet again, you need to remember if they are heel or if they're a fan favorite, and you want to pair them against that wrestler just to bring up them ratings. So when you are choosing your champion, you want to bear in mind who you're going to select. If I pick Samoan Joe here, he's going to go up in 10 in popularity and this is going to make a good matchup for Roman Reigns to go against. You can do the same when it comes to the SmackDown Women's Champion. Choose someone lower, someone you want to actually push up a little bit and get the higher popularity. But what I am going to do with my Diva is I'm going to put a Divas Tag Team Championship on the line at the start in the coming weeks. So the popularity to get more interest will be Alexa Bliss because she's got more star power and she's going to have a power higher popularity rating in general. 
Once we have chosen our champions, we have four matches we need to book and three promos. So the opener and the main event are just as important as each other. So we're going to choose a tag team match. We're going to get Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and we are going to choose these two giants to go against. We're going to put a title match on because hopefully, one, we should start a rivalry, and two, these are two heels against two faces. Match we should increase that, and two cruiserweights against two giants. So yet again, the perfect chemistry in every way to make a really really good opening fight once you have chosen all of your bouts you're going to make sure that you have got all the perfect styles and roles against each other as well as doing the commissioner goal so that is over here in the journal area so you've got commissioner goal which is basically triple h gives you a mission each week and you've got to end up trying to fulfill it and you end up with these rewards which give you more power cards and where you can get these power cards from is in this store area here as well as down below so this is the ones that have you've already got and these free refresh every week so the double cost is a very good one to pick up and the birth of legends we're going to activate right now because we want to do this before we go into anything and boost all of the pepperoni of our actual superstars straight away to give ourselves that biggest lift as we can to draw as much interest into all of our fights as you can see it's done aj styles brock lesnar john morrison samoa joe edge and john cena which is great because these are main event fights so now brock lesnar and samoa and joe are on 72 popularity for a main event that is absolutely crazy and what i do suggest is keep messing around with different styles because you could find out a certain fighting style that these people are good at for example john morrison might be really good at table matches and might put on a very very good show just by having a table match and you can get better ratings just by finding out what they're well suited for it does come at a cost but bear in mind that not always is the cost worth it so for a little higher rating you could spend 35k but the stamina is very draining and you might not get a very good fight so these are very good for a pay-per-view to boost it up initially but if you want a little boost i suggest using table matches to try and find out what's well suited for these type of wrestlers once we believe we are happy, we're going to confirm our booking and we're going to go straight on to the event. So we're going to simulate this and hopefully find out some information of the rating and who wins. So every week you will get information on all your fights, what type of rivalries have started building and who was the best rating in general. So as you see here, I should have had this as my main event because this is in the ended with 3.5 stars and my main event only got three there's probably a lot more star power in this and a, mo a lot more popularity in these wrestlers in general and plus it was good for a title match so this could have been very very well so just from reading this match report alone the fans were very confused because there was two heels fighting against each other and not one of them were faced so they didn't know who to boo and who to cheer for but they said that the fight in itself was very good and the fact that it was a table match increased their actual interest in the fight but they didn't know who to cheer. So next week I can change one of these into a face and the rivalry is already building so the rating should naturally go up. So each and every week you get show notes which explain to you who works well, what type of matches worked well for a certain superstar, as well as a breakdown of show bonuses, star power bonuses, match quality cards and everything like that. So this helps you a lot and it also tells you how many fans you've gained and how much budget you've actually gained just by doing this alone. So I ended up with a profit of 77,000 and I gained 80,000 fans which is a very very strong star to a new season. So we've already got ourselves off to a good start with us being leading in the rankings as well as having more revenue which is a massive thing for this GM mode. Each and every week you also get messages from your superstars and your choice can affect their morale. So for example here, John Morrison wants to have a rematch with Roman Reigns. I can say no or I can say seems reasonable and it's going to increase his morale and therefore it should increase his performance in the ring and if he wants to stay with our brand. Samoan Joe is exactly the same. He's asking for a rematch. So do be wary when you're doing this. Don't tap A or X because you could press the wrong one 
and press forget it Samoan and that means he doesn't get his title match and he's going to be a bit disappointed in you his morale is going to go down each and every week you have superstars and legends that you can sign that rotate so for example here if I wanted to I could sign Sasha Banks on a 10 week contract for 160,000 but that's only 10 weeks and that's not a very very long time or if I wanted to I could spend that extra bit of money and sign Xavier Woods or Jimmy Uso and these will be permanently inside my roster these are the more viable options but they don't come up very often so that is something to bear in mind and just remember some of these people have special abilities such as Kevin Owens himself having five-star mic skills so he can cut a promo increase his popularity or call somebody out and increase a lot of heat on them just by the certain type of wrestlers that they are so always bear that in mind and if you wanted to because you're low on wrestlers you could pick up these small guys and end up boosting them into big celebrities big time superstars and get them to chase for that WWE championship or if we wanted to spend some of the big bucks we could sign a legend so a legend is going to help massively for example Batista here that is crazy 200,000 pretty much for Batista for a 10 week contract or I can end up getting Goldberg or I can get someone like The Rock for five weeks and just extend their contract and just remember their type of styles do they gel very well with my wrestlers and the hope for that for a specialist like The Rock for example for five weeks is perfect because he's got 70 popularity and he has a specialist ability which means that he can fight anybody and it is perfect I can drop him in and out of my roster when I want if I want to extend him afterwards I can but if I want him to go because I have too many wrestlers not getting airtime I can easily drop him or you could choose a wrestler like Booker T who's a good worker and he has good popularity but he's very expensive yeah again it's entirely up to you and what you choose to do but just remember about if they're a heel or if they're a face and these are some massive factors before spending all of your money I wouldn't do it early on I would do it later on down the line but these are some things to bear in mind then we come to our show logistics and this is how you advertise to your fans and how much ticket prices cost. For example, I've just upgraded there and I get 2,000 fans into my hall now as well as a ticket price of £8 and show quality goes up 4% but you get an optional goal if you use the higher rated ones. So the optional goal is here, book one level one or higher rivalry so I've got many of them now so this is going to give me the optional bonus straight away and I can choose to purchase this for 7,500 and I also can see straight away I get the optional goal boost pretty much straight away so it helps me with show quality as well as giving a boost in morale to my wrestlers this is a really really good option for you guys to do if you want to increase and you've got a lot of money left over I do suggest that you heavily invest most of your money into advertisement because it will bring in fans gained and your arena because it will give increase your show quality as well as the fact it will increase how much money you end up bringing in and how much revenue you bring in for your brand Hopefully this video has helped you, so please make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know if you want me to keep making this type of content because I do enjoy wrestling in itself, but it's quite fun to experiment and play with different games every now and then and to see what you guys like. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.